Right, should we get on with it? All right, here we go. Right, Zara, shoot from the hip. Well, no, you miss. start this, don't you? Welcome to Staying Relevant. We're back. We're not leaving. We're here forever. Uh, we are two best friends who are on the quest for everlasting fame. James Corden style fame. But we'll settle for the Chuckle Brothers. I will be drinking as as usual. I know it's a Monday morning. Um, yeah. I'll be swearing, so if you don't like it. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. Good addition. <laughs> it's got Thank Essex so there much. as well. Good addition. So if you haven't realised yet, we, we have a guest today. Um, it's taken months for her to come in because I think her management didn't want her to do it. But we have got Zari. Um... Come on, here we go. Give me a clap. Right, do you want to start off then? <laughs> so it has been quite hard getting Zara on this podcast um, and Pete's not even wrong. Uh, Zara is... is flying through the sort of fame. She's got a real job. Yeah, yeah, she's got, she's a documentary presenter. Um, she, I don't know how much I can talk about upcoming projects, but she's got a few projects in the, in the work. She's already done two highly successful documentaries about. NTA nominated. I NTA haven't nominated. done, I've done three. So. She's done three. She's done three. Highly decorated documentaries. Uh, some of them are NTA nominated. Well, technically four actually, because your documentary was basically Zara's because she was in it <laughs> more than you. It wasn't Have I Got ADHD? It was more like Living With ADHD. So technically that's four <laughs> documentaries that she's done, if I'm honest with you. But yeah. carry on. With the introduction. Um, basically, Zara is uh, is doing everything that we want to do. How long have you been doing this? How long is it since you left that, uh, Love Island? Oh, 2018 I did Love Island. Okay, so five years. So half the time that we have, um, <laughs> half the time that we've been in this industry and absolutely smashed the fucking granny out of us. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. How's that for you? Do, do you enjoy Stop. beating Sam at things? No, I don't see it as that. Do you enjoy being the more famous and the more talented one? I'm not more famous or more talented. Because well, you are. No, people come up to me on the street and they're like, I love Sam so much. Yeah, but everyone hated Sam before you. So actually, that's why they come yeah, up to yeah. you. Because <laughs> pre you, Sam was a fucking loser. <laughs> so actually, what you've done is made him slightly cool. The only reason he's getting work now is because he goes into meetings now and says, um, <laughs> Zara's my girlfriend. I actually use Zara all the Do time. You? I drop her in every oh, single time. Sam drops the fuck out of everything, yeah. Do you know what I do? I go, I go, oh yeah, and so, Zara, oh sorry, my girlfriend, I don't know if Zara, and <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, she's the documentary girl on the BBC. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you, whether you've oh, heard. Oh, stop it. I do, genuinely, in you almost don't. every meeting. No, do you know what I get? I've watched them do it. I get, and Pete started this fucking thing, but now everybody says it online. Um, they call me uh, Sam pre-teeth and post-teeth. So basically, pre-teeth <gasps> Sam is like not yeah. a good Sam, and post-teeth is a good Sam. Yeah, pre-teeth Sam looked like a young splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So do you want to know something? When when you and I first started Instagram DMing, I was like, I'm going to do a bit of research into this guy. Who sent the first DM? Me. Zara. You fucking But he liked bitch. every single one of my photos. Oh, so he was trying to get attention. And <laughs> yeah. then what did you send in? I just replied to his story like, I said something like that I was so loud yeah. or something, didn't I? Oh, just <laughs> he, he put up an Instagram Fun. story and it was him going, ah! Um, this is a <laughs> terrible start. idea. This is potentially going to be my favourite episode. This is a terrible, two minutes in. terrible so, idea. Five years ago, so you DM'd him. Yeah. Carry on the story because I've forgotten where we were now. Oh, teeth. Teeth, yes. So I was like, I'm going to find, you know, what he used to look like no! in the early days. <laughs> so I'd actually never watched Made in Chelsea before this point and I went and found his first episode, did some digging. Me and all when my friends the were like... When he opened the door, and I now I know he did it about 20 times to get it right, and it was yeah. like, hello, Andy, come in, sir, or something like that. Yes. But I, I looked at it, and I looked at your Instagram, and I looked back then, and I was like... He's had a glow up. <laughs> yeah, he's had a glow up. Because you did used to have teeth that could open bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were, they were serious. You could do some damage with them. Do you know what? It was the it's it's the first thing I ever knew. I was like, I have to get. As the moment I found out veneers were a thing, I was like, I'm going to fucking get veneers. And it was the best thing I ever did. And Zara, look at look at look at me now. You know, going out with an NTA nominated documentary host. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I think I get asked the most. Um, about you two when people ask me, obviously everyone says, where's Sam as if he lives in my pocket? Um, but second to that... Burrowed the, in. The other question I get is, why the fuck is Zara with him? So can you answer really? that one? Yeah. Don't be surprised by that. You get asked it all the time too. I mean, I ask you a lot. <laughs> I <laughs> get it on Instagram. <laughs> what, I what, genuinely what get What is DMs. it that attracts you to Sam Robert de Corsi Thompson? Mm. Uh, no, I, I could give a jokey answer, but no, I, Sam... No, give us a jokey answer. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. This is a really hard question. I actually feel like I'm going to sink into my chair. Um, but, all right, well, let's take away the obvious one, money. What else is <laughs> I it? knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I was waiting for that. No, I'm I'm a strong, independent woman, Pete. I earn my own money. Oh, yeah, you do know. You absolutely can, Kobe. But when you first started, you were from Essex, babe. So, fuck me, that was a way in. Well. Correct, Tom. Anyway. Oh, no, you had a real job, didn't you? Do you know what's so funny? Watching two people from Essex converse. Like it's, it's, We're not different species. This is so brilliant. This is like, it's like going to the zoo. But hold, hold on. Are you uh, fucking serious? Uh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> See, that was better. But, but Zara's left the Essex behind because you've, you're a bit posh now. Do you think? I do think, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you've gone a little bit past. I you? think I have. I was watching an old YouTube video of myself. I used to be like, you're right, babes. Like, welcome to my yeah. vlog. Like, I'll give you a tour of my new apartment. Here's my makeup routine. And routine. Now, yeah, do you know what I mean? Do you know now, what I mean? And, and it's weird because when you're, I'm, to, I'm around posh you're people every day. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not purposefully. No, no, no. It's, it's I'm not, Essex and proud, mate. Yeah, it's not. All right, pal. Two up, two down. Not, it's, it's, <laughs> stop Shut saying up. things you I don't, don't understand. Pete always says don't two up, two down. That. You don't understand that. He, he always it. goes, hard up. What? Yeah, if you're hard up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, because you've never been hard up, have you? <laughs> he always says you've never been hard up, and I don't know what he means by it. Hard up as in you, you ain't got a few quid. But you, yeah, you have gone a little bit posh since you've been saying, which is understandable, because when you do spend time with people, yeah. you do become like a comedian. Everyone does it. It's a, uh, it's called mimicking. That's what people yeah. do. Um, however, when you are around there, you do slip back in. I do slip back into old habits. And I I, I enjoy it. Zara. Yeah. I prefer Essex Zara. <laughs> so um, anyway, do you want to ask some questions to you? Well, I've just got a quick, why am I sat alone? I just surely, my good side. surely my, my girlfriend good side. comes in and we sit together and grill Pete. But What's happened here is I'm alone and getting absolutely battered. But so what happens? Obviously, I spend a lot of time with both of you, and um, I very much like Zara and I tolerate you. Okay. Um, and originally, I didn't like you at all. Did um, you not like me at all? No, we'll get to the, the point. I'd right. love to. I'd love to dig a bit deeper into this. Why you didn't like me? Because I didn't really like you. I'm not going to. Oh yeah, well, no! This is good, but now I feel like we've actually. I feel like I. Yeah. I. Do you know what I always say to everyone? I say Pete is one of the only people in my phone book. If I was in trouble, and I called you, you would be there in two minutes. That's a so, fucking lie. Because yeah, I'm would. always in trouble. He never picks up. No, no, no. You're not in trouble when you call me at three a.m. Going, I can't sleep. <laughs> That's not in trouble, <laughs> is it? Like, what do you want me to do about that? Or the other week, oh, I don't know what to do. And like, what, what, what's, what's wrong? Should I wear a pink T-shirt or a blue T-shirt? <laughs> it's not in trouble, is it? <laughs> right, that's, that's not in trouble. Or do you get the, I'm feeling a bit worried about... Oh, don't, don't, right. Oh, so, my God. So, basically, so what happens is I, I obviously spend a lot of time with both of these. Um, and uh, generally, what happens is me and Zara team up on Sam. That's pretty much how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Because Sam worries about everything and he's, um, what would you say the word is? An emotional wreck. Yeah, pathetic. Yeah. So um, between Zara and I, we have to, um, what's the word? I bring the empathy and realism. You bring the tough shut love. the fuck up and get on with it. Yeah, tough love. And between the two of us, he gets through his day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> fucking, <laughs> I'm not a child. You are a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest with you. You are. Uh, you're actually more hassle to Zara than the cats. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest with you, and she 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 told me this in confidence, but I'm going to say it, Zara. Um, the reason that she got that little robot to follow the cats was actually to follow you because she wasn't sure about leaving you home alone in case you hurt yourself. <laughs> so Zara has a robot, by the way, that she that that she it's a remote control robot she has around the house. It zips around and she can speak from it. And she and she said and you hear you hear Sam <laughs> Sam <laughs> where are you Sam so oh. Zara so but obviously you started on Love Island so to yep. get any sort of credibility coming from a reality show is really really difficult obviously we're ten years in and still can't get any so how did you get become credible because you're now a credible documentary maker presenter and all round showbiz fucking legend I don't know if I am but what I would say is that I was I was. Victim of an unfortunate event, but um, it was just kind of like one thing led to another. I, my first documentary came out, it took like a whole year to make. I think that was in 2000, and, the whole of 2020, I spent making Revenge Porn. It came out like first month of 2021. And then literally really instantly, I had an idea for a second one. And then 
I finished that. I was midway through that, and then I had an idea for a third one. Do you know what's and really then good? Just sorry for cutting you off, Sarah. It's sorry, just cutting off your girlfriend. How our relationship but clearly. I, I listen to this podcast a lot, and it, I, I was waiting so for that. Oh, don't do that, because that's what loads of people say. <laughs> um, oh fuck! No, I was just going to say actually, I was going to big you up. I, Zara comes up with her own sort of like not. I, I mean, ideas. Yeah, she's like, I want to. F- do a documentary on that. And I think that's fucking cool because a lot of people I feel like who come out of like, I don't know, the reality TV game or something like that and they sort of try and do anything a bit more serious. They just get, they get put into places. Well, they just front things. Yeah, they front things. They're the face of things. But they, one, they don't actually care about what (coughs) what they're fronting. And two, they don't really know what they're fronting. Well, I agree. And I've got to say for you, you, I I know for a fact, Zara will literally be on Zooms to commissioners and stuff being like trying to get things that mean a lot to her through the sort of process, which I think is fucking Mm. cool. I think a lot of people come off of something like Love Island and, and I think in the first couple of months, it's like a flurry of like work. That happens. Then they'll disappear and no one knows who the fuck they are. Well, I think that does happen more on nowadays. I was lucky that I was on quite a good season. So, like, it was season four. It was Where at its peak. Where did you come on it? Where did I I left after 10 days. Zara's on so it for a week. You on it for a week. So, yeah. So you've got to be, if, if you do it sort of like a, a ratio of hours on Love I barely said anything. to success, you've got to be the most successful Love Under ever. Based on the time that you spent on the show, because I mean, blinking, you would have fucking missed her. Oh no, no, honestly, you really would have. So missed So there's me. a story. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you didn't know, I, uh, I work on Love Island at the moment. Oh no, um, no one knew that. No, I was, <laughs> to be honest, your people watch After Sun and don't know. And there's a oh, fuck. There's a, he's the pillow. There's he the calls me the fucking the pillow. The pillow on the sofa. Now and then you just hear. Oh, I think that too. And you just wonder where where's that come from? <laughs> oh, it's the pillow in the stupid shirt. <laughs> So, so the exec on the whole thing, um, actually, I think he's one above that now, but he basically has a, told me a story about Zara. And apparently Zara went in, right? She was the bombshell, one of the bombshells. Oh. And she went in and she didn't speak a word for 12 hours. <laughs> she <laughs> went in, she went in and they know the time. I think it's like 12.04. It is something like that. <laughs> and she'd gone in. At like the evening before, and no, didn't I, I did speak. speak in the evening, but the next morning, so like they probably got us up at like eight thirty, nine o'clock, and I didn't say anything until like twelve oh four or something like that. And apparently, the and exec were like, they were in the gallery, like, why is she not talking? Wait, I was is her mic on. <laughs> Let me check the mic. Right? Apparently, she had her feet dangling in the pool, right, and my one own. else was having a chat, and she was just sat like this, just looking blankly into the water. I was so overwhelmed. I was so. F- overwhelmed i remember that moment and i was like what am i what am i doing i was watching these cameras like zoom across the pool and i was seeing all these guys these there, there's these guys that sit in these huts with these cameras and like you can like move the hut around and they can film people you move the hut around yeah like you can move the doors of the hut and make little openings so like oh, that's can cool you, yeah, it's really cool. When you go in there, you have oh, a look. Yes, such a, I love a cool hut. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck is wrong no, with no, you No, 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 but I was so... Can you imagine how confused I was? I was just like... I was so... I consider myself very sheltered before. Like, I had an office job where I worked in the government with a lot of, like, older people. And then all of a sudden, I'm thrown into this villa with all of these really outgoing, outspoken people. And I literally was just so overwhelmed. I wanted to just, like, curl up into a shell and just... Just not speak. But on the plus side, it's worked out quite well for you. Yeah. So, so I was really gutted to leave after 10 days. Can you imagine? Well, maybe if you hadn't been so fucking boring, <laughs> you'd have stayed. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't realise there was something called an edit. Since re- apparently, you didn't realise there was something called a personality. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, sorry. No, sorry come on, no, please. No, it, you didn't speak for a whole day. No, I day. didn't. I, no, I, I, I was just, a, I, I just was really nervous. Well, look, f- fuck Love Island because we talk about Love Island enough. So from that, you, you kind of got um, a bit of a break doing the first documentary. Yeah. It's something that you've gone through the revenge porn thing, and then you just smashed the love. Is that the one you were in NTA nominated for? I've had, I think, I'm NTA nominated for two. So rape, revenge porn, and rape culture. Oh and, fuck me, she's yeah. a fucking pro. Um, but that was the first one, was it? Yeah, that was the first so one. So that one smashed it, and that's probably why now you've got an opportunity to come up with your ideas and make things because you smashed it and everyone can see that actually you've got a brain as well <laughs> as being all right to look at. Well, do, do you know what I will say, and this is something that I've learned along the way, and is that, and my dad always said to me, like, you have to make sure that you're always putting in 110%. Like, don't think that anything is ever given to you because it's not. Mm. And I was as soon as I got that first documentary, I was like, right, 
if and when I do another and I hope and I pray that I do another and we pitched it and it got commissioned I was like I want to be a part of every single process I want to learn everything I realized I wanted to learn to be a producer I'm doing a camera course soon so I'll be able to like actually be able to shoot myself that would be good because it saves us some money on Ted wouldn't it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do all our videos it'd be fun that'd Zara be loves doing stuff. that shit I love man. filming and stuff Zara like that Zara always brings up the that. time that she like got an A in film once and she literally won't let it go and she's like let me edit this one let me edit this one I'm a, I'm a really I good I really editor. enjoy doing the filming and editing side of things, though. I fucking despise anything to do with any of that really? shit. Really? Well, obviously, I mean, you know me. Fuck me, I don't even like being in it. Mm. I'm fucking Pete, it. Pete okay. will turn up to the house, um, ready for a days full of dancing and, and, and you know, tomfoolery. And, uh, and the first thing he does when he walks in, he walks in with a cheese twist from Pret. Oh, always cheese it's twist. It's always a cheese twist, right? And then he'll have a mock Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's a kind of caramel latte. Ca no, a caramel cortado. Yes. He's, he's such a little pussy. He's like, he's, people literally sit there and be like, a caramel cortado. With, such like, a little pussy while Sam's eating a pepperoni of raw mushroom and a fucking <laughs> Capri Sun. Yeah, I'm, I'm such a fucking pussy. <laughs> it's packed lunch at fucking 10 a.m. in the morning. Oh. Um, Anyway. I didn't know you guys didn't like each other though. Well, no, it's not. We well, no. I, I, I just. Um... I know what you thought of me. I reckon you thought she's here for the. She's here for the money. But she's where's the no, no, money? No, no, no. Is that, well, where's the fucking what, money? I, I don't I, understand. You know, what? I actually didn't because if you were there for the money, you would have gone with someone who isn't tight as fuck. Yeah. You're tighter than a duck's ass. So no, it wasn't that you were there for the money. I just thought you were. I just didn't really know you, and I think you're probably shyer than I'm. Quite loud, aren't I? Yeah. So I just don't think we really spoke that much. I thought she's a boring. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's better than I thought you were. I thought no, you were going to be like. That, I thought you were. A, I thought you were a gold digger. No, well, absolutely not with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. There's Listen, no I'll fucking gold to dig. I get that a lot. I'm sure you do, but that fucker will make you sign a prenup. So I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm um, not worried. There's um, no gold to dig. I don't. <laughs> we're talking like I'm fucking Dre. Um, and then obviously, and we're gonna we're gonna get onto it. The big incident happened. Oh, the incident. Oh, the incident. <laughs> and the incident was really... Then I sort of thought, oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But, I would as well. But also, and I'm very fair, and he'll, he'll, he'll say this as well, I've been there, you've been there, and we've all made fucking mistakes. You two weren't that serious then either at the time, I don't think. I think we've been together for three months or something. Yeah, there, there was lots of other fucking... Because I was trying to pull the months down. But, no, I just think it was, <laughs> yeah, just, it was a couple but, of weeks, but to be honest. But, but either, way, either way, it's one of them things. And I, I remember saying to you, don't milk it too much. <laughs> I remember saying this to Sam. I said, don't milk it too much because we've both been there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Don't go fucking too much. I will top. say this for Zara. So then there was that. Yeah. And I didn't know if you were going to get back together because I remember you messaged me. I did. I messaged. I messaged everyone apologising. Yeah, and then I didn't reply because I sort of thought, "Oh, sad," and <laughs> um, and also I don't know what he's going to do about this. So um, so I just let him get on with it, and I, I never fucking said anything to you. No, and, Pete actually never said anything. I, I was looking for advice and got nothing. No, back. the advice I gave you was just go with your heart, man. Like do do what you want to do. It doesn't matter what I say or anyone else says. It doesn't matter. It's it's down to what what you two think. But it? you know, I, I'll say this as well, right? Pete's so right. Is that we, we we've done some things yeah and, like we've definitely done some things and uh and you forget that zara, right, bad boy zara's no no you've done worse but but, <laughs> but yeah i was just trying to help you out a bit there Pete. thanks sorry mate but but there was also a time we, i think you how old were you zara like 20, 22 22 so fucking young and i remember because because i've basically done that to previous girlfriends and stuff and uh and i you know when like you look in someone you go ah oh, that, that's not them you know when you yeah. look at them and go, oh, this shit ain't going to do that again. And yeah. like, Zara, I could just see in your face. I was like, I know, because I've been that person being like, I'm never going to do this again. In my head being like, I possibly could. <laughs> and then like, I'm just basically lying. And like, you can just tell when someone actually has like a beautiful heart and a beautiful soul and like, and just, Aww. and just fucked up. And like you, you'd be some wanker, wouldn't you? To like have done it yourself, but then be like, I can't, I can't forget. Yeah. And I, th I think that's the point. And I think the way you handled that as well, um, you just fucking, you, you took all the fucking blame for it. And I think fair play to you. Do you know what I mean? However, moving on from the serious side of that, unless you want anything to add to that? No. Are you I... sure you don't want to throw in there? <laughs> Happily move on from this subject. Okay. All right. Well, we're not quite going to move on because it did bring one of the internet's most... Uh, oh, the meme! Oh, you can. And um, just just the one of the most fabulous things I've ever seen. Do you know what? Ever. I, I've never watched Made in Chelsea, Zara. All right? <laughs> but you watched that. But fuck me, did I tune in for that? <laughs> 
and it is possibly one of the best <laughs> things I've ever seen. In fact, I mean, I don't know if you've either of you done it. Would you like to just recreate? Can we? Can we get? A I did a recreation. Too? I did a recreation. Oh, you did the Nando's. Did video. the Nando's video. And you got slammed. And I got slammed, mate. It went wild though. Oh, I remember that. Right? I put it up, and within half an hour, it had ten thousand. I remember comments. being like, I remember it was so soon. It was so raw, and I was like, just do it. Just post I remember it. being there when this was happening, and I was going, "That's fucking brilliant. I love it." <laughs> um, but that's the. Do you know what? Besides all that. That's the nice thing about you two is that you fucking moved on from it. And now you can you know, not laugh about it, but it's one of the things that fucking happens. I love it now. I know that sounds weird, yeah. right? But like it, it's one, one, it keeps us relevant. <laughs> two, even in the worst way. And take, I'll take anything at this point. But two, it's always to do with football. And I find it fucking yeah. brilliant. It's like when someone, it's, it's always like when someone wants a transfer budget, but won't get it. And a manager's pleading to the board. You can. Yeah, you can. I can't do it. What you was can't. the Anne Summers one oh, the other Summers day? One. I will get this one up. We're, so basically, we're, what happens is there's like, it's cyclical. So there'll be a new one that comes out. And then I, that's all I get basically on, on Instagram. Yeah, for like yeah, a yeah. Good this month. Anne Summers this one, one I guarantee, look, I'm just gonna go on my thing now, and I guarantee you, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it within a couple of scrolls. I also want to give a bit more context to the meme. And wait, I've never wait, spoken wait, wait, about wait, the meme before that. in my life. Go on, give us some. Give I us some just need to give a bit more context to the meme, right? Through Pornhub or whatever. It is People there. say like she wasn't crying. Da da da. You weren't crying. You had not one tear. Can, the can driest I say, eyes in the building. Can I say I had so that I remember that scene. We turned up to this park, and I turned up at twelve thirty. And we filmed through till I remember I left there at six p.m. We spent six hours saying you. Oh yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so obviously the Found it. the parts of of the you can are the points where I'm like at my you again. can. Yeah. I'm at my I'm at my oh, emotional God. end at this point. It's been you know five probably five five and a half hours of this. Mm. I haven't. I'm so dehydrated. I've cried so much, and then oh, we that's didn't see that bit, bit, did we? <laughs> yes, because obviously at the start I was probably a bit more Crying logical. Dust. Do you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um yeah, I mean I'm guessing you're just dehydrated. Um Oh yeah, because that cause that cause that's why you don't cry. Yeah, yeah the liquid stops falling out so, your eyes. So um I'm sure that's just a regular occurrence. That's probably what it is. Anyone else had been there, you'd been fucking gushing, but because Sam was there, you fucking dried up that Sahara. <laughs> like a prune. Like a fucking prune. It was like a raisin by the end of it. But I do get what you mean because I've done a similar thing before where I'd spent five hours having an argument about about something similar, and in the end, I'm I've I'd switched off, and I was completely blank and didn't even understand. Yeah. So I was being and they use that shouted as at well. Five hours, <laughs> yeah, yeah, people yeah. like he just doesn't care because I was like that. Yeah, but then just they, looking around the room, they cut he out just the doesn't first care. Four I, like, I don't care because I've heard it for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't care because I, I just don't care now. Also, also, Pete, I've I've seen you before where like people like put this really like grey face and you'd be like, it's just. You know, like everybody's talking about it, and like I don't care about them. Why am I, I doing that accent? I care about. I care <laughs> Where am I from? I care. About I just it. don't care about it no more. I care about you. I care about you. And then eventually she says shit, and he just goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And just, yeah. And no. just looks down. But I found, so I found this, and it yet last post with it was yesterday at nine thirty p.m. So that was wasn't even that long ago. So it's basically. When she wants you to buy a strap on to spice things up. People I don't understand that though. Does that mean you're gonna shag me? Yeah, well I think so. Yeah. Oh, I right. think that's, that's the idea. Anyway, let's move on from your sex life. Uh should we do some questions that we normally ask like sort of normal guests? Because yeah. this this is just great fun for me. I'm having a fucking great episode. Oh, I'm glad. I knew I knew you would. This is possibly my favourite episode ever. Really? I'll be honest with you. When um Sam's away, do you wanna Kind of I host. would love to. I think we would do better if it was me and you. I think so. I think we've got a bit more kind of like work chemistry, me and you. 100%. There's better banter between me and you than there is me and Sam. Yeah, I agree. Because you're quite witty as well, mm. similar to me. He's just stupid. Are they going to fuck? Only, only so <laughs> hey? I feel like they're going to fuck. Well, there's only so many times that you can fall off a chair and it'd be funny. <laughs> so there's actually... <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually mean you've got to, things to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's, yeah. A, there's a bit of intellect mm. behind it. Look at yeah. me! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're gone. Now it's become like mum, dad and son. Whatevs, Trevs. So uh, Zara actually, do you know what we will say? We'll say this, is Zara is the podcast's biggest fan. So I am. Zara will listen to the podcast before yes. I've even listened to it and she'll give me feedback. She'll like message bullet points being like, like this bit, wasn't too sure about this bit. This bit was good. She's like, you're the biggest, like, and I love this about you, such a cheerleader to the podcast. You're finally here. Is it, is it less? Podcast, no, I was, do you know what? I was a bit nervous because I listen to this podcast every week at Monday, on, on Monday. 
whatever, nine o'clock in the morning or whenever I'm going to the gym, I listen to the podcast and I To the point where she actually it. messaged me about the strip club in Barcelona. She like, did, you went yeah. to the strip club. I'm yeah, sure that I, was before you. No, no, it wasn't. We, we were like speak kind of... We did. We were very early on. I didn't even get a stripper. Oh, well, it's all right. I mean, you got but him back. But I remember... You got him back, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember... <laughs> It's one all. Oh. <laughs> but it's not. Even you, Stevens. Get a stripper. Um, no, he didn't because he was just disgusting <laughs> at the time. He was absolutely disgustingly just annoying. I had to send him home one day early. I remember. It was. But I remember you messaging me being like, I've just spent, I can't, don't even want to know, I can't remember how much it was actually. It was thousands. Because my car got declined. Yes, yeah, so I had to Why? pay for the trip. So I, <laughs> no, no, you didn't pay for the trip. I paid for the fucking trip. We went to Barcelona. Sam, Sam, uh, listen, tighty McFucking Lighty. Tighty right? Lighty. I, uh, let me tell you something. So I basically, I put the whole fucking trip on my fucking car and then the bank thought I was being frauded. Right. So then when we got to the fucking strip club, so he had to pay for the strip club for everyone. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. But imagine that, sat there whilst <laughs> not getting a dance and then paying for everyone else to get one. Yeah, Fun. but you had a nice time talking to the cleaner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's grandmother had obviously just strolled in accidentally and Sam thought it'd be a great <laughs> idea to just talk to her. I mean, fuck me. Fuck it out. Anyway, yeah, um, sorry you're finally here. Yeah. Come on, Pete. Um, so, as an avid listener of the podcast, yep. um, you know, and, and we're potentially looking at doing a live tour where people might come and see <gasps> us and we'll be able to take actual real-life reviews. Could you give us a review on the podcast? Keep it short, because I know like you sound in your own voice, but if you could just keep it quite short and give us a star rating. Two our faces. I'd give you 4.5 out of 5. Um, I think... From season one, you've got a lot better. Oh, Sam's got a lot better at not interrupting guests. Um, I found the Tom Grennan episode, specifically in episode one, incredibly painful to listen to yeah, because it, it had no, there was no, no narrative through it. It was just Sam. Was just yeah. every five seconds, he had to get in a story yeah. that related Are to you himself. You my girlfriend? No, no, like, no. I'm being, I'm just being honest. The, the lack of teammate shit. Hang on, hang on. But <laughs> what I will say is, you got a lot better. You got a lot more patience. And I think yeah. I think it's a really I think it's brilliant and I absolutely love it. So four point five out of five. Okay, so if it's brilliant and you absolutely love it, why haven't we got five? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. As what, you're the, the closest mark? person what? to us, we don't get a five. <laughs> what is the half mark? I want some more interesting guests. <laughs> Fuck me, we've had a terrible start then. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> um, well, no, we, we okay. Well, a lot of people don't like it when we have guests. I want, like, I want you to get. And well, uh, listen, I'll tell you, silly. there's a lot of people we want to get. I also want a 12 inch cock, and I ain't got it. <laughs> the people that we can get and the people that we want are two different things. Who do you want? I want a, a, a Love Islander who's going to spill oh, the no, tea. No chance, no. Pete. Pete, no. Pete, absolutely. I want Katie Price. <laughs> uh, oh! No, you told she, you told her to say no, that. On my life. On my life. He, it's Pete, there's as much chance of a Love Islander coming on this show as Pete actually wanting to do a TikTok dance with me. That you're not going to get it. He, does he it absolutely end. hates the idea of it. No, you can, but like, I mean, you've got a Love Island podcast. Do it on that. No, because we're not. And, and, we can't talk about the real gritty stuff. Okay, so we had a Love Islander on. Yeah. All right, Chloe Burrows, that? really lovely girl, really enjoyed her. Gave us fucking nothing. There was absolutely nothing. Loved the girl, first time I'd met her, really funny. Yeah. Did she give us any inside gossip? Did she fuck? Did she She's fuck? She's done it too long ago. Yeah, yeah, you need she, to get some fresh. It was too fresh. long ago. You need to get she, some fresh men. You meet them removed. all when they come off, all right? <laughs> if you find someone interesting, bring them the fuck down, drag them down here, and I will sit here and go, who the fuck are you? Tell me something interesting. <laughs> if not, fuck off and stop ruining my fucking podcast. How about that? And that, by the way, is Pete Wicks when we try and do a dance. That is exactly God, what love happens. love you so much. Simmers to absolute boiling point in seconds. <laughs> to seconds. <laughs> Anyway, looking forward to any love unders that would like to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe, you know what? This is, this is something I've, I've, I don't think I've, I've ever asked you because this is quite like an asky question, but like an asky question. That doesn't make sense. Was that good for you? Is that... <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Did you feel that? <laughs> Do you... Oh, fuck off. No, 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 no. So you have sort of leapfrogged uh, Pete and Sam. <laughs> Would you say that the reality television is something that might be below your your pay grade now? What would I do more? Would reality you do TV? more reality TV? Oh, sorry, that last question got me. Um, 
I would do the bake off. Yeah. I'm getting been... better, aren't I? So yeah, Zara, would you do any more reality TV? Is that is that something that you feel like you're past? Or if the right thing came along, what would the right thing Pete be? He got it right, bake off. It's bake off for me. And do you know what? If you did bake off as well, because I once mentioned oh, Zara. Mate, I thought you'd say Master Chef just sounds like you drop that all the time. No, no, I wasn't gonna say Master Chef. I I um although I did do Master Chef. Here we go. Um <laughs> But uh, not very well. Um, no, talk about the quarterfinals and the tiramisu. Uh, it wasn't tiramisu. <laughs> I did make the best sticky toffee pudding that Greg and John had ever had. But, you know, uh, it came with a fermented vodka shot that I'd made myself. Oh. <laughs> um, and a salty caramel sauce. It was really lovely. I'll make it for you one day. You said you would, actually. I, I remember did. you said that a while ago. Be because... Um, I once mentioned to Zara that I love pistachio cake. Oh, yeah. And the next time that I went round there, she'd baked me a whole pistachio cake. <gasps> yeah. How sweet is that? They didn't eat one bite. No, I didn't. I forgot to take it. Because he was in a really bad mood as well. <laughs> he was in a really shit mood. So he mood. did have a slice. And then, oh, no, I did have a slice. He yeah, did it have was a slice. Nice. And, then he, and then he left it just there. Multiple. And I showed it out to the neighbours. I went and knocked on all the neighbours' doors and was like, hi, like, I've got a bit of pistachio cake. Would you like it? God, you were really trying to get in there with that Chelsea mob, didn't you? <laughs> I see my future, Pete, and I'm going for it. You're fun. You know yeah, I mean? my girl. Nice. I like that. Um, so, Bake Off. Yeah, because you're, you're a bit of a king baker. Haven't you got your own cooking Instagram? Yeah, I do. Is that alongside the cat's Instagram and the house Instagram? I've got and, so many Instagrams. Yeah, how many Instagrams do you need? Well, I need one for each like section of my life. I've got the Thompson Project. I've got Albus and Cedric. I've got at Zara's house. I've got Zara is that and not the, Is that Zara's Zara. house not the same as the Thompson Project? No, no, because that Zara's house is my like, it's my cooking, but it's like, come to Zara's house for some cooking. Not Sam's house. <laughs> Sam doesn't live there. Well, I'm not going to call it at Sam and Zara's house and just do my cooking stuff on it, am and, I? And, and also, to be fair, you pretty much treat it like a hotel. Because if it's not the au pair that you both have that is doing, I don't have any kids. Sorry, can we clarify? Sorry, this I was Pete? there when you were both interviewing your housekeeper for a couple of days, and then we were actually working. You were interviewing throughout the day, and then kept coming in with, "What do you think of her?" And Sam's going, oh, "I don't care, I don't care." And he's like, "All right, well, I'm going to give it her the job." Not her. I don't like her. <laughs> it was a but cleaner. It was a cleaner, and I was interviewing a few. Who's cleaners. there every time I'm there? I genuinely think you just pull her out of the cupboard because I don't think she goes home. Am I not the only one that cleans up after himself? No! You fucking... How would you know? Do I not clean up after myself? And in fact, the last two times I've been there when you've spilt something, I've you been said. on my hands and knees yeah. with a fucking cloth remover, <laughs> rubbing, has... rubbing your carpets and your fucking sofa. <laughs> so I don't know what you two pair of pricks are talking that about. That actually happened yeah, last did week. Happen. That did happen. He was on his hands and knees. He, with the vanish. I, I tried to get... I, I put sun cream on our outside furniture and I couldn't get out. came in in a bit of a huff and people went, fucking hell, give me the spray. <laughs> so he's fucking getting the vanish and he's going, just needs a bit of elbow grease. And mate. he's just said they're going, yeah, no, you're doing a good job then. <laughs> I said, what the fuck's happened here? So he stands there with his hands on his yeah. hips, doesn't he? He's seen a common geezer and thought, here's the help. <laughs> here's the help. <laughs> the stable boy will do it. <laughs> fuck you mate, you're mate. fucking good at getting that out, though. You oh always God. do. Oh, dear. You always manage. Anyway, so Bake Off. That's, that's, Sorry, that's really quick do. one. Pete's the only person. We have a little bar in our place, and Pete's the only person who comes in and uses it. He'll literally be like, right, so we got downstairs in the bar then. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it's really annoying because I like to go down there and just sit on my own, but Sam follows me. Um, <laughs> Where we can chat about this podcast. Yeah, it's really aggravating. So in fact, right. Last time we were in there, we had a row. Yeah, yeah we, we had a row! I had to mediate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you actually did, yeah. <laughs> and who was right? I was sat in the middle I of both right. of you. No, I was you like, weren't. look, see your no, point, you see your point. No, you weren't no, right. I was right. Sam, I remember right. we never resolved we it. No, 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 no. What happens is we're basically saying the same fucking thing, but the problem is, is that you have to say it your way, and if someone goes, yeah, Sam, you're right, then you don't... I was saying basically the same thing as you, but in a more logical way, whereas you go round the houses and waffle like a fucking child. Yeah, see, this is where Pete's completely wrong. There was another argument we had not long ago, it was, which is about a, an, an ad that we were doing, and Pete wasn't getting paid for it. And I was saying to Pete, I was like... Mate, I was and like, he doesn't see that as a problem. <laughs> I was like, and I was Pete, I was like, Pete, be in my ad, right? And then what we'll do is I'll do one for you. But I don't want you in mine. And I was like, wait, I was No, like, you were going, it benefits you. And Pete's going, how? I'm not getting paid. And you're like, I swear, this is really a really good look for you to be in my ad. Yeah, it's a really good look for you. Do you know what it was? Anyway, how do you feel about ads? How do I feel about ads? Yeah. You don't do a lot of ads, do you? You do ones with him, because obviously that's where he makes all his money because he hasn't got a real job like you. 
No, I'm going to be honest. I ain't got the time nowadays. She ain't got the time. She ain't got the time. No. Oh, it's hard to, to rope her into mine now. Because you're sort of like a house husband that doesn't do any housework. But how? How? Well, because she's <laughs> off, She's off. you know, being the breadwinner, going out to work, having a real job, and you're at home dancing on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Hey, 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 we've got this podcast, got the radio. We do once a week. Got after sun. Oh, and then the evenings. I bet you're over the moon when you had the evenings. No, well. Zara, you know what's cried. so funny? We actually really don't spend that much time together because well, the house is so big. I suppose he's in the east wing <laughs> and you're in the west wing, no? <laughs> <sighs> but seriously, like I'm doing like the day hours, and then I get home at like five, six o'clock, and he's off. He goes to work. Yeah. He goes to work. Goes to work with a backpack on. He, with his yeah. backpack on, gets on his mobile. And we do an Eskimo nose kiss before we leave. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm going to get onto that in a minute. Um, talking about Sam being at work, you came surprising the other week, didn't you? What at work? Yeah, I, I, here in the in the office. Um, yeah. You came on the radio. Couldn't get past security. Was a bit of a struggle. And they actually came into the podcast the next day when we were recording and said, "Please don't have anyone else come in because they don't have security clearance." So you got him in trouble, actually. The next day, the security guard came into this room. Do I not have security? No. You, well, you have to like go through a process. This ain't the this fucking building. BBC, Zara. <laughs> That was so bad. <gasps> Zara came in. We'd had a bit of an argument, actually. And, um, and No, because... Right, can I just give a bit of clarity on it's this? It's really hot You've, in here. It I'm is, isn't it? absolutely sweating. You've always said to me... I look like me, a fucking swummy. Oh, no. Same. It's really hot. Um, you've always said to me, oh, you should you should come to radio one evening. Blah, blah, blah. And we'd had a bit of an argument that day. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to take him up on the offer, surprise him, bring him a Five Guys for dinner, because he n- never has dinner. So I brought you in a Five Guys to, to be nice, to be like, look, you know... Olive Branch, love you. Come all the way here, brought you dinner. Do you know what actually? I know, it's giving trouble. stalker. It's giving stalker. Sam! Because you know when you have an argument with someone, you like you just need a bit of space, right? Zara refuses space. Zara literally will turn up and be like, no, can I, I just have stop. to conclude this can I, now. Can I just stop you there? Yeah. Right? I, I would normally agree with that. However, I do think that's quite nice. And you of all people are the last person to say, you know when you just need space. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the fuck do you give me, her, oh, or me. anyone, any space? I was at work. I was at work. And Zara just went, I'm downstairs. No, no, no. I, said I brought you dinner. I'm dancer. I actually wasn't expecting you to be like, come up. I was just expecting to hand over the five guys and as an olive branch. It's and very it's not sweet. The, it's not the first time that she's done things like that. When we had um, um, Reality News, which was our show that got cancelled, some of you um, long life fans might have um, seen that. Not many of you watched it, um, hence why it got cancelled. <laughs> but Zara used to pack Sam a pack lunch and leave little notes in it. Did I? She oh, did. Yeah, I did. Do you not remember that? I do remember, yeah. Those packed with pepperami, she used to make sandwiches, they used to unbox it halfway through on a lunch break and uh, oh, read yeah. the little note out. Yeah, I'd make you a sandwich. Yeah. But do you know what? Otherwise, you get home and you'd be like, I'm so hungry, I feel like I'm going to faint. Have well, yeah, eaten. Zara, to be fair, it is true. I don't ever really get to have my meals. And Zara's biggest thing is you don't eat. You don't Doesn't. eat enough. Doesn't eat enough. You're a feeder. Is what you are, and I love it. To be what fair, what do you mean he doesn't eat enough? All I see that fucking prick do is shoveling stuff in his <laughs> fucking mouth. But when you or I aren't there, and he's left to his own what devices, do you mean you or I, I don't help him eat. No, 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 no. But I'm not his babysitter too. <laughs> when he's on his own and he has no one around him, he do- forgets to eat, and then he comes home and he's like, "I don't feel well." And I'm like, "Have you eaten dinner?" And he's like, "No." And I'm like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Because I've got to leave for work at five p.m. So what do you do for the whole day? <laughs> and also, you work for three hours. No, I don't do the Love Island podcast afterwards. All right, five hours. I come home at midnight. Do you? Oh, no. Do you think you're going to waste away? No, <laughs> fuck it. Are you going to be okay? Jesus. You are looking a little bit gaunt. Would you ever... Actually, this is a question I've always wanted to know. Would you ever host a show with me? Do you know what? And this is something I was thinking about last night before coming to this podcast. We have had a few production companies channels over the years express interest in me and you doing a show together and i just feel like no (laughs) (laughs) i do you know what i i obviously love you both i don't know if it would work Uh, do you know what because i feel like you're very particular in the way you do things Mm. and i think so are you and i feel like you'd argue I don't think, think I don't think if I think if you work together as well I, I I don't I think it would be a nightmare. I don't think it's healthy. No, I think it's too much. You already live together. What would you talk about ever? 
so that's based. That was me basically trying to that, see whether Zara would that, take me with her, and I got a <laughs> resounding no. Let me tell you what that was. That was Sam trying to leave me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's what Sam was. Sam You're stuck with me, big up. boy. Do you know um, what I was actually thinking? I was thinking that I I could do with a co-host on the radio. <laughs> like, would you ever do the radio show with me or anything like that? Uh... No, again. I'm going to be honest with you as well. I don't like like couple. Two, two duos. There's so us. many of them now, aren't there, as well? Yeah. I, I find it can be a bit like cringy and a bit pleased to like. Do you know what I mean? I also don't yeah. know whether we're that interesting. I think you are individually, but. Yeah, but no, as a couple. Yeah, as a couple, um, you're irritating, aggravating, and, <laughs> and potentially you, you would make a lot of people feel sick. <laughs> It's all very good points. But individually, you're very nice, but it's the you little goose, all that fucking shit makes me want to punch you both Pete, in the face. If we were going to predict where Zara goes in her story of staying relevant, right? Where's Zara gonna end up? Where do I think she'll end up? Yeah. I um I think you are gonna end up being as successful as someone like Louis Farood in documentaries. Fucking hell! Genuinely as well, because Jeez. I think it needs it needs someone to do that sort of stuff. Oh, thank you. Do you know you. what I mean? Based on the fact that you do quite highbrow um, and serious subjects on the documentaries. Yeah. Because, um, well, because you're not that funny. So, whereas I think... <laughs> Zara, where do you... Where where do you... And I, I think that's good, because you're actually got, you're intelligent, and I think more people will see that. And actually, I, yeah, I think you're going to have a very successful career. Oh, thank you. They're really kind. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I've got a question, actually. I haven't finished. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus And if you Christ. present stuff as well, I think you'll end up doing proper presenting, not like silly bits. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean, like? Well, like silly bits, like silly, like little fucking, like funny shows. And oh, well, me and Pete do the stuff that the stuff that we do. You'll end up doing proper things, like proper presenting oh, thank for you. proper people that have talent. <laughs> what are you calling us, Pete? Fuck it out. Dog shit. That's <laughs> okay. Are. Take anything we fucking can. Do you know what one of my dreams is to like do the one show? Yeah, one of something my like that. That's well, my... my nemesis has beat you to it. Roman Kemp's already there, so I would <laughs> love luck. to host of Roman. Yeah, I think, oh, you fucking and, sweet. I think you and Roman would be brilliant together. Jesus Christ. I genuinely think you'd be so good together because you're both I mean, quite intelligent. You'd look great together on the, on the sofa <laughs> as well. He said it to wind you up, Sam. Yeah, this is absolutely just. No, we're actually going to get him on this pod. This oh, is yeah. my yeah. favourite podcast ever. He wants to come on. Um, and he was so lovely. We met him at the podcast show. And uh, he was so lovely. And he went, He literally said to me, he went... So apparently I'm your nemesis. You know when someone says it to your face and you're just like, well, I can't back out now. Yeah. So I was like, yes, you are, sir. Yes, yeah. you are. Terrifying. Um, it, it, so so you, the one show, that that would be like a, a bit of a dream for you. Yeah. To do, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. What's your kind of dream? Well, I was just actually about to ask, Zara, where do you see us <laughs> at the end of all of this? Where are me and Pete? Actually, you know, let's start with where do you see us? Oh, Anna Deck. 100%. And a deck. Why? You see, don't ask me the question, Pete, and then fucking turn your head away like that. <laughs> Do you know what you two would be really great at? What? And I, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Bake Off again. But you oh. know, you know, um, the two people that go, I don't know who it is now, but I remember like Matt Lucas did it for a bit. And Noel Fielding. I love Noel Fielding. Like on the Bake Off where you go around and you're like, well, Bakers, nice. you got 15 minutes left and you go around and you're like, oh, yeah, the, the, the shit bits. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't be able to do that because everyone would just call me a pearl. Like the host. Go, oh, that's a lovely soggy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know no, I, mean? I think it would be really funny. Um, I would love... That would be such a good job for you. Can you not see us and in decking? Sam, Someone. Sam, right. <laughs> Sam, you're the only person that can see it. Can you see us James Corden in, in the States? No. No. Can you not? In the Sam, States? Yeah. People Do you even the, have a fan base in the States? No. no but that's people not the in the UK don't find us funny. No one likes us here, let alone over in America. We're going to take America. I still got this weird idea of us taking America and filming it oh, and, and then get, getting off with the Late Late Show as a duo. But not before we've done The Jungle hosting. We're not Hosting going. the jungle. Yeah. I don't think Anna and Deck are going anywhere anytime soon. And then soon. Saturday night. No. Why? They're we can't so... even get on the jungle, let alone host it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Must to be, be fair, fucking... we springboarded that bit. Yeah. He'd offered to eat fucking kangaroo bollocks for free, and they're still like, nah, we're all right, folks. <laughs> uh, do you know what? It's, yeah. And then, and then possibly, you know, things go well, Saturday night takeaway with us. Maybe right. the Brits hosting. The Brits? Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking on another planet. With Mo Gilligan, can we fucking can? 
So that's where I see us. Zara, where do you see us? I just said. She just said, Bake Off. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's in the Bake Off. Oh, that's the pinnacle. Oh, Jesus. So doing the shit bits on Bake Off, basically. Lovely. All right. So if if that's if that's as low as you see us, which is completely understandable and higher than I imagined, um, what advice have you got for us to actually crack this industry? As someone that has been in it for half the time we have, um, please tell us what we can do because you're successful and we're not. Are you being serious? You want my advice? Yes, you. You're. I re- think you guys are more successful than me. Well, you're fucking wrong. So um, stop being humble and tell us what we can do to emulate your glittering career. How do we get into the BBC? Well, I'll tell you how I get in the BBC oh. um, over a, a fucking wall because there is no way. <laughs> there is absolutely no way. Me covered in tattoos with long hair, calling everyone a. Is going to get in the BBC anytime I can't, soon. I don't think, yeah. Although I did do MasterChef, which was on yeah. BBC. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and Tink's Roadshow. Don't be afraid to work for free. I, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Basically, she's setting us up there for making no cheddar at all. Don't like, be afraid to work for free. I haven't got a backer like you. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Two up, two down, Pete. What do you mean, don't be afraid to work for well, free? Well, I mean, don't, don't, you know, just, just, if you, if you want to work with a brand and stuff, just, you know, do it free. Offer, offer your services for free, I think. What do you mean? Offer your services for free? I actually agree with Now you. I understand. Yeah. Now I get it. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think I mean? I know what she means. Basically, Pete won't turn up anywhere unless he's getting fucking paid. Pete of course. Pete, no, no, no. Sometimes <laughs> you've got to, That's some, called a fucking job, Sam. Sometimes you've got to put in the hard yards, Yes. Mate. Sometimes you've got to I fucking mean. go in and be like, do you know what? I'm accepting I'm not going to get paid, but this is going to build us. Okay, all right. And guys, day. guys, guys. All right, let, let me just ask you a second then. What is it that I haven't agreed to do that is going to set me up to be Anton fucking Deck? Because the things you're talking about <laughs> is I won't dance around a fucking kitchen like a fucking idiot for Baby Bill <laughs> unless I'm being paid. <laughs> Now, of course, Baby you, what do you want me to do? Go, it's not easy being cheesy. I'll do it for free. <laughs> That's not going to get me anywhere. So, of course, I want to be paid no. to act like a fucking idiot. It's not easy. If, if, if someone went, listen, we can give you a chance hosting the Late Late Show. You've got to do it for free. I go, okay, that's fine. <laughs> not if someone's going, dance for me, bitch. It's right? Do it for free. Cheesy. What a pair of prats you two are. Anyway, so your advice is just fucking do it for free. Oh, that's, that's the worst. Really get out. Mean. That's the worst <laughs> advice we've ever had. That's really. Do I you not want us to be successful? About. I think success success comes with doing things for free to start with, and then you get money. Anyway, I think that's us done. Sorry, you got to go. You have got things to do. Sorry, I do. Yeah. All right, off you fuck. Okay. We've gone through the you can moments. We've gone through your glittering success. Uh, Zara also thinks that we should work for free. That was a little piece of advice that I will not take. Um, and Sam, you've had a tough time. We haven't was even it? spoken about the cats once. Thank God, because they can just go on the what's the Instagram? Alberson Cedric. What did you call Al- Al- Albus the other day? Cyril. Clive or something. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Cyril. I was like, his well, name's Albus. Well, How could you get it? It's so wrong. Well, you two don't even call them by their names because one day it's Bunny, one day it's Camel Toe, one day it's this, one day it's that. You call him fucking Duckling or something. You're fucking Goose. I'm surprised I haven't got a fucking nickname yet. What am I called? You call her, she calls me Poo. Poodle. Poodle, yeah. Po- Poodle and Goose. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's Pete Poodle and Goose signing off from, <laughs> from, from today's episode. Um... Thanks for listening. Do you want to stick around for the outro? I'm all right. All right. Well, no, why don't you I just got... sit there for a minute? Right. Sam, how did that go for you? She looked very sweet, and I was just—I I thought it was a really good episode, actually. And I feel like Pete, you've almost been shown up there because Pete didn't want to get her on. He was like, too easy, and it actually been your favourite episode. So it's by far been my favourite episode because me and Zara are a team against you, um, and it's nice for you to feel very uncomfortable um, around. But uh, <laughs> no, I really enjoyed that, and um, yeah, good. Good. Well, for our listeners, Good. I also want to state very s- sternly, we're not going anywhere. We're here to fucking stay. Go on. Go. Thank you so much for listening to Staying Relevant. I've been Sam Thompson. He's been Peter Wicks. And this has been a blast. We'll see you next week on a Monday, anywhere you get your podcast, or on a Friday 
via YouTube. All you've got to do is type in at Staying Relevant and on our socials, you get some extra bits at Staying Relevant. So, so, so. I, I, I yeah. stumbled You there. also forgot you were going to sign off and then forgot you had to do the rate yeah, review I thing. Did, yeah. yeah, carry on. Rate and review uh, at us, Staying Relevant, uh, on our TikTok and Instagram. And uh, give us five fucking stars, please. Please. Like, we need it. We really, Well, unless we really... you think it's shit, then no, don't but... bother. Just give us what you think. But write the reviews, because they're generally quite funny. Whether they're good or bad, I enjoy reading them. Um, yeah, subscribe, rate, review, all that fucking crap. And, yeah, follow us on all the shit that he said. Ta-da, Zara. Ta-da, Sam. Fuck off. We love you. Enough. You've been brilliant. Done. We've been Sam and Pete. You have been the listener. What the fuck was that? Exactly. What, what was that? <laughs>